A hospice facility cares for people terminally ill at end of life. There are 43 hospice inpatient facilities in North Carolina, but none in Macon County or West. A true statistic of two years ago per Macon County Sheriff Department was that 50 people a year die of an unattended death. So it's somebody that died at home alone because they were sick. That breaks my heart. You know, that, that, that many people, that's one a week almost. The Hospice House Foundation was formed in 2004. We're a 501c3 charitable organization and we are a group of volunteers, uh, hospice medical directors, and business people who through their life experiences saw the need for a hospice inpatient facility in our community. The need in this part of Western Tip of North Carolina, um, I think people don't realize that some people, it takes them 45 minutes to get to a main highway to get to town, and it's still Macon County. So this hospice house would pr provide services for people in our, not in only in our county of Macon County, but our neighbors to the west of us. The hospice house, what that does, being at a location in the center of town, easy to get to, it enables loved ones as well as the care for the patient, as well as people that might need to fly into an airport to get to that loved one, and easier ways to be with them at a very important time of their life. There's counseling, there's quiet rooms, there's, we have social workers, um, medical doctors, uh, chaplains. So it's, it's a wonderful team that is especially trained just in hospice care. It's so important to support our community in that way. And when I think about 50 people, 50 people didn't have that luxury. I had an experience with my brother who was in a hospice inpatient facility and that's how I became so interested in this project and, and developing one. Um, he was an, a young man in his 50s, he had no family, um, our parents were elderly so they couldn't care for him. So the hospice facility, we just were overwhelmed by the comfort and the, the peace that came over us when we, they just took over and uh, a huge burden was lifted off of our shoulders. We, it was such a wonderful experience for my brother and our family. We, he had, it was a loving, peaceful death as a result of being able to be in a facility where he was totally cared for and pampered 24 hours a day and we were pampered and um, it was wonderful. I was a primary caregiver for my mother and I think about what if it was her that needed to get those ice chips she would have gone without him because she wasn't capable to go get him. And I think about the patients I have volunteered with or just other people that I have had the pleasure of being a part of their passing and I, that they, they wouldn't even have any assistance to have a cool cloth on their forehead, you know, or maybe they just want to talk. I think people hear hospice and they think elderly, and cancer. It might be a five-year-old. It might be somebody that had a terrible car accident that got a life-ending illness. And so the hospice house is all-inclusive in the fact that it sees no barriers and it doesn't even matter if they can't pay. I don't think because of someone's socioeconomic status, for whatever the reason, that they should not be allowed to pass with dignity. We do have the deed to the property and to the house, um, so now we need three and a half million dollars. And we are starting our capital campaign and we are looking for pledges and um, we are caring for patients with, um, that have no insurance. So we don't want to ever, we will never turn anyone away. The Hospice House Project and the Hospice House Foundation, it really is a much bigger picture than a six bed facility. The community, we hope, will be uh, as excited as we are to provide this and will help us by giving us donations and making pledges.